all know what we're doing here. I know what I'm doing here. That would give me a debuff. Always thinking. Oh, it's different now. This one is stressful. I don't like this. Ooh, bad, bad, bad. Get up. I need zero one gone. I have 29 health in a dream. All right, hello friends and gamers. In the last Aethergazer video, I said we would do dreams and dreamed content, and that is what we're doing today. I'm thinking we'll do two videos because I think there was the two events that I did want to focus on a little bit, and that was Reflection Reversed and Thunder Parade. I have been doing integrated analysis, obviously, as we've been in it. That's just the regular like storeroom stuff. I've been grabbing whatever from here, but that's no big deal. That's the usual. It's materials. It's the usual. I didn't touch Trip Diary, and I think it en it ended. Yeah, Trip Diary ended. Um, anyways, so Thunder Parade. That one started first. It started on the 11th of December. So I think we're going to dig into that a little bit today. In order to get all the rewards, what do we need? All the shifted stars. So like the bare minimum to get all of our shifted stars is going to be... We need to clear the Arclight boss stage, which I'm assuming is over here, as well as do 40 events... There's a couple of bosses, actually. One, two, three bosses at, at least. I think Thunder Roar might also be a boss, but it doesn't say it's a boss, so I'm not entirely sure. It sounds like a boss, though. But Flashbolt, Arclight, and Static Electricity are all bosses, so we need to get through all of those. 40 events. I don't know how long one event is going to take. If it's quick and easy, then it'll be a quick and easy video. But I'm not sure. I love this sort of, like, skill tree-looking roguelite type of gameplay so i'm so here for this this is why i wanted to do a full video on it but i was a little bit stupid in the fact that i left it till now but this oh this is static electricity okay so we can't pick which boss we're fighting that makes this a lot easier okay so i'm thinking i really am gonna focus on the battle stages i think i like fighting in aether gazer i like the combat so i'm not really opposed to not fighting but it might get to a point where we need to prioritize a normal battle battle over an elite battle vice versa you know that that the whole thing it's a it's a roguelite structure we all know what we're doing here i know what i'm doing here at least i have 60 hours in hades for all of 2023 it didn't come out in 2023 <laughs> that's 60 extra hours so and was an was a single hour of that on camera no i did that in my free time I think I'm gonna go for the treasure reward, which means we will do an opportunity stage after that, but I want to see what the treasure reward is because also I have enough coins. I have enough coins, especially after that New Year's event. We got so many Ironsoft coin boxes. I haven't even opened them. We're good. Oh, we have to start with this battle. Here. <laughs> we have to start with the treasure reward here. This sort of battle intensity isn't even fit for a warm up. So I'm assuming it's easy. Does that mean it's easy? I think we just have Thor. Your name is Thor, right? I don't know. Is her name Thor? I forget already. Hold on. I'm looking. I didn't pull for her. I don't remember. I haven't done the story yet. No, her name is Thor. Okay. Because sometimes they give them a different name from the actual god they're based on, and sometimes they don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Thunder Parade. We're going back. Normal battle with Thor. I was not the biggest fan of Thor's gameplay. That's why I ended up not pulling for her. So we'll see how this goes. I just think it's to do a battle like this, why are we top down? You know, it fits the vibe. It actually does fit the vibe for this type of gameplay, I think. Through and through, I am a Hades enjoyer, and that is that. Okay, who's next? I can't change the view either. This way, this way. Hello. This isn't that bad, I'm gonna be honest. I'm assuming maybe it'll get harder. But I was concerned for how this was going to play with just one character, because usually if I am doing a stage with only one character, I prefer to use a ranged damage dealer of a Apollo or something like that, just because melee can get a little bit dicey if you don't have like a healer on field or anything like that, you know? You know, the use. You want to prioritize health when you only have one character. We got some loot. Yeah, I think we'll prioritize loot in these battle stages just because I don't really need coins. Aha, there we go. We get a buff now. If we abandon it, ooh, wait, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. You can do a run without any buffs and get more of the radiant com components. That sounds really fun, but I, that's not going to be the first run. That is not going to be the first run. That is a bad idea. <laughs> However, it might be the next one. So the thing is, I don't entirely know how Thor's kit works, so I don't really know what buffs are the best here. I also wish this was not a limited event because I love this sort of gameplay mode, like to death. I kind of wish it was permanent. Already off the bat, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> 
At the start of battle, 100% of the mod index multiplier bonus effect. I need to like read these, I think. Right now I'm thinking if we can get anything with health, that might actually be the best. But it doesn't look like any of these are these are health buffs. This sounds fun though. Mini lottery machine. At the start of battle, mods gain a random 30% attribute damage bonus. The attribute randomly switches every 20 seconds. That sounds kind of fun. It won't let me scroll for slingshot. Oh, there it is. It's just like an open box. I don't think slingshot's helpful because we are going to get hit. If we were using like Apollo, because Apollo's thunder squad. So like if we were using Apollo, I would take slingshot, but I don't, I don't think. I think I'm just going to go for electric guitar. Why not? It's the safest option. I'm going to go for another treasure reward. I don't really know if there, is there a shop? Unsure, but we'll go for treasure reward again. Again, I don't really need the coin rewards. This is fine. I think this would be a fun way to get coins, but I don't really need them right now. So I'm just gonna do the treasure stages. I'm not even using her skills here. I will say only being able to use Thor here. I think this is a better display of how she plays in game than her trial stage was earlier on. Does that make sense? Because I feel like I actually am really enjoying playing with her like this. To the point where I'm like, do I want to go on the, the custom banner right now and grab her? Because I think you can get her on custom. I think she is available on custom as of late. Because some of the more recent characters aren't, but I think she is. Oh, where you're in a bad spot. To be fair though, I'm not taking any damage this round. So maybe that buff would have actually been fine. We would have been fine with that if you don't take damage buff we saw earlier. Surprise? Yeah, no, I, I'm enjoying playing with Thor here. I'm like tempted to grab her so I can run the Thunder Squad. I love running the pheasant squad, so I might as well try. Rainbow lollipop. Randomly resets a skill. Dried fish. Restores HP. I might grab that. Or paper cranes increases crit rate by 100% for two seconds. Seconds If they cast any skill or... Ooh, I think paper cranes might be the most cracked one. At least for now. We'll gra I might try to grab dried fish later on. And I might regret not grabbing it, but I, I actually do really like that. Next, we have an opportunity stage. Who hopes for a, a car crash? That's a little bit too soon. <laughs> I might not have crashed my car, but it's a little bit too soon. Okay, you walk past that delicious dessert shop again and can't help but go in. We can restore full HP, but I think my HP is doing fine. Or we can order a Black Forest Gateau, restore more HP after battles. I think I want to take that because right now we don't need a full HP restore. We're doing fine, but I think that'll be helpful for later on. Functor reward. Oh, functor reward or ether code. I think let's. Mm, do we want to up our modifier or our weapon? I'm just gonna look at what's down the line here, kind of plan it out because we have a full map, so we might as well look at what's down the line. We're not gonna have functor rewards come up again, nor are we going to have ether rewards. So I think I might go for thunk functor because sigil is the next one then, and I kind of want the sigil one as well. Let's do that. Let's go for the functor. Can't go wrong with like upgrading a weapon. We're already doing pretty well, so I, I think this will be fine. It's this normal difficulty though. I do want to bump it to hard after this because I did see there was a hard mode and I think that might be a sweet spot. I think we might need to like go in on that one. I don't know though. We'll see how hard the boss battle stages get later on. So far so good though. I don't like being in this little corner here. We may have to deal with that. I'm like really, I'm like hugging the wall here. There we go. Get. I need to get off the wall. Never good to be on the wall or in a corner. We ha have that ult, but I'm gonna keep it for a hot second. Okay, so we have another. Oh, I thought we'd have another wave. Never mind. Usually it's like two. I think I want to pull for Thor after this. Like, I'm actually enjoying her gameplay. Like I said, I think this is a better trial stage than her actual trial stage. Because her trial stage, I was like, Meh. ooh, I don't know what functors. This one is gold. So I'm thinking we go with the gold. When dodge is triggered, the attacker takes 12% more damage. For six seconds, effect does not stack. Every time extremity dodges a trigger, the remaining cooldown time of dodge is shortened by one second. Maybe not, because it's the attack. Oh, the attacker, so that'll be who's attacking us, right? Let's go for Gala Drill. I've, I can't read, but it's gold. So we'll go for that one. Don't know if that's her best in slot, but it's gold and I'm going to take it. <laughs> Next, we have sigil rewards. So let's get the sigils. Can't go wrong with a good sigil set, for sure. Farming them is horrible though. I hate farming sigils, but you do what you gotta do to get the big number go boom, boom. I I do hope that I can do hard mode after. I wanna do this on hard mode and we need to try hard mode for sure. Oh, I did take a hit. Oh no. I saw that coming though. I saw that as it happened. What is that blue line there? Oh, it's cause there's a boss over this way, isn't there? Oh no, I just need to get closer to the opponents. I might have to itch my nose, but I can't. Okay, now I have time to itch my nose. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Thor. Thank you for doing your old animation. You gave me a second to breathe. 
I don't like that we took that damage, but hopefully we'll heal it back later on. Are you another wave or are you just a random? Yeah, no, you were random. You were part of that second wave, but you got separated at some point. <laughs> not that, not that at all. All right, do we want damage increase? When in modified mode, we haven't hit a modified mode, so I'm gonna skip. Increases crit rate by 3% for each modifying level of tanned. Or mermaid's tear increases water damage. I was like, this looks familiar. It's because I was think I was farming this for Oceanus. Yeah, no, we don't want that. I think we'll go Griffin's Pride. That's a pretty standard one. I would do Sword of Roland, but we're, we haven't really hit modified mode, so it's not really worth it. So let's just go Griffin's Pride. I feel like I have that on a couple characters right now, so. Opportunity stage! A small winery on Kings Avenue, drink responsibly, is hosting an event. A staff member offers Thor a small cup to taste. I think, considering it's a winery, I think we're going to politely decline because I feel like that would give me a debuff. Always thinking, drink responsibly, always smart. And we're gonna do a coin battle because that's my only option. Let's see how many coins you get from this. Is it worth it to like farm coins this way? Obviously it's not as like relevant now. Stop it. Oh, it's like a stop them. About, oh, okay, it's different now. New enemies have appeared all the way over here. Where are they? This is so, this is stressful. This one is stressful. I don't like this. I don't like this one. Okay, get out of here. No, why? Don't, don't. I swear to God. Okay, we, we have, we're allowed three before it. Oh, did I, did I goof? I don't like that stage. I don't like whatever that was. I didn't get coins at all. I just got the radiant components. Okay. It's because they, they too many went in there. What just happened? <laughs> I want to do this elite treasure reward battle just because we haven't. I do want to do an elite battle because we haven't gotten there yet. And I want to, I want to give it a shot. Okay. How elite is elite? Cause this will like be able to get, be a good You're gauge for, is the hard level actually hard? I'm gonna be honest. I actually think I really like the top down view for combat in Aether Gazer. Like I kind of want this to be a default. I don't know why I like the top down so much. I think it's, I think top down's a better on PC, PC mobile emulator situation, like how I play, because you don't really have to shift around the screen. Okay, this is easy. Oh, I'm in, Oh, I got hit. Olheim and Zero One isn't that bad. Like, it could be worse. It's just, I lied. It is bad. We might uh, eat it here. Give me that ult. I need that ult. I'm kind of hoping we have some sort of opportunity after this. Oh, did I get a modified? Yes, that's so good. Modified on Olheim. I would have preferred it on Zero One, but this is fine. Come on. He's almost out. Okay, we got a evasion there. I'm really abusing this dodge. Oh, bad, 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 get up. Okay, again, not the best character to run the elite domains with. I need zero one gone. Oh, did I, I have 29 health in a dream. Give me that ult, that's perfect, that's perfect. Take it home, because I don't think, can she take damage? Oh, yes, perfect, perfect. This is it, perfect. Come on, come on, take it home. 29 health in a dream. I don't know how we're gonna go on from here, but maybe we'll get that buff where we can regain all our health. Have to be careful with this. Okay, bad, bad, we don't wanna be in corners. Come on. Why is she in corners? Oh, that was so close. Oh no. It's telling me to level up and all that jazz. I can't do any of that. Darn. So do we, does that mean we have to abandon? Oof. Or do I get like a restart? It might, I might get a restart, which could be doable. Do I have any health? Okay, we gotta restart. Oh, does it, did it just boot, uh, bonk me to a normal battle? Okay, I'll take that. That's actually preferable at this point because I did not level up enough to fight Olheim in zero one. The fact that it was both of them, I think is what did me in there. Either that or they're, oh, they're gonna show up for the second wave, yeah. All right, let's give this another shot. Okay, this, this sucks a little bit. I keep getting hit. Okay, ult me. A modified mode, I'll take it. Get her down to one health bar. Do we want, we could probably camp. Do we want to camp out till we get our ult back? Oh God, what in the, you can't do this with a melee character. I keep getting hit. I just keep getting it. That was a, that was a worse run. I don't want to abandon the run, but we might have to. Cause I flew a little bit too close to the sun. I did fly a little bit too close to the sun. <laughs> Oh God, I'll give the elite battle one more shot and then we, we're gonna have to <laughs> again. Like I said, this would have been no problem with a ranged damage dealer, but we have a melee modifier and it's not, it's not happening. I'm almost thinking trying to camp out with fighting them. So if I camp out, if you wait long enough, your ult will just recharge. 
So I'm thinking, if I just run around well enough... Also, I've already taken damage with these guys, so this is not looking good. If I just run around in between ults, we might be able to do it that way, which is a little cheaty. A little bit of what I like to call the weenie strat. But you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. You have to be smart about it, okay? Hades rules. You gotta be smart about it, and if that includes running around until you get your ult, it includes running around until you get your ult. <laughs> we have to be smart about it. Actually, I'm gonna take advantage of that one because we might hit a modified. Yep. All right, we're gonna hit a modified. Good. Take advantage of the modified. And then we're gonna do the cheaty weenie strat. And now we're running. It's the weenie strat. Weenie strats. It works. You do what you gotta do. Oh, actually, I'll take care of... Uh, I'll use that to my advantage, actually. Okay, now we're weenie strat again. See, ult's almost back up. Because we have like 10 minutes between like for each stage so we're gonna weenie strat it and i know what you might be thinking um did you do the minotaur and i think theseus battle in hades this exact same way yes this is exactly how i did it the cheaty weenie strat and you know what it works every time is zero one out oh i think we took out zero one see it works the weenie strat works okay no i, I got I, a little bit too close to the sun there i tried to fight olheim 101 without my ult and it was a bad idea can i hit a modified no oh yikes Luckily, we have a shop after this. Olheim's getting angry. Are you angry? <laughs> He's angry. <laughs> Alt time! Now we can actually do damage. And we have a modified. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Take it home. Take it home in this run so we don't have to do another one. We're gonna have to do another one. If, we'll, if we can hit modified like one more time. What? There we go. That that there we go. Perfect. Hit a crit there. Perfect. Sometimes you have to cheat your way through a roguelite, and it's not cheating. It's working smarter. Work smarter, not harder. Overloaded force field. What does this do? Delivers a thunderbolt at a random enemy within a 10 meter radius every three seconds. I go for this buff in Hades all the time. I'm gonna pick that. I'm not even gonna read the other ones. I I know how I play these games. We're gonna go for that. And luckily, this was the right way to go because we have the dimensional shop. So can we get? anything for health Ooh, what does celebrian do my roaring thunder thor grants the following effects oh this is oh i don't have enough for it never mind we only have 500 um swordsman's creed increases crit rate by 75 percent for three seconds whenever a dodge effect is triggered that might be a good one because we can then get some other stuff and i feel like that's better than what we're currently running sigil wise but what is this one Blazing Scarab has a 30% chance of inflicting Scorch on the enemy hit as well as all enemies within a certain range over 10 seconds. That also could be good though, because it's like a passive effect. It's kind of like that lightning bolt thing I just grabbed. Fire damage. It could be helpful, even though Thor isn't really a fire damage dealer. I think I'm going to go for Blazing Scarab. It could be a bad idea, but I think I'm going to do it. Reduces damage taken by 30, by 0.3% for every one Thundercloud point owned. Effect maxes out when Thundercloud is at 80. Damage reduction effect will be boosted by 200% of Madison. I want this bolt thing. And if I, I if I hit a refresh, I'm not going to have enough to get anything. So I think that's good for now. Leave the shop and we go to our static electricity boss battle. If I have to do the weenie strat again, I will. I'm not opposed to the weenie strat. <laughs> I did see the lightning bolt though. What is your name again? I, I think I fought you before. I'm pretty sure I did. We might have to do weenie strats. Either that, actually, because there's only one guy, I think we can just take advantage of timing evasions. I don't think I've gotten technically hit by this guy. All my damage is back from Olheim. Like we're on the second, do you have multiple phases? Oh God, I got hit on that one. It's fine, we're not really doing, <laughs> we're doing fine still. And now we're on modified. Good, I don't think there's a second phase. I think maybe if that yellow bar hits, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, that was static electricity was nothing. Okay, we got it. Sure, that was a normal, but we got it. All right, Zenki is humming a tune. So Thor doesn't say anything. Apollo is asking why she's so quiet. And Thor says, I'm just questioning my decision from two hours ago. I can't believe I wasted more than an hour on this. <laughs> oh, God. It honestly has been a long time since I've seen anything so devoid of logic. There's logic to roguelites. Like, you gotta know when to use the weenie strat. What do you think? fight sequences apollo likes the fight sequences okay do i seem that basic to you oh they were watching a movie okay that makes more sense zenki liked it a lot apollo thought the jokes were good and thor is asking if we're actually talking about the same movie <laughs> so let's continue onwards i wonder if we'll be able to get more characters in here so what are our buffs this time oh do they stack Ooh. 
Max HP is increased by 20% and movement speed is reduced. I guess that makes sense. You're drink having a soft to drink. Modifying level reaches S grade instantly after mods gain modifying rating. Ooh, I think we're gonna go for the hair clip. Ooh, we have an more stuff. Okay, handheld console. Which I am covering the farthest one, but it's handheld console. Increases mod index multiplier by 15%. High concealment toolkit deals an additional damage to the enemy equal to 20%. That actually, I think I might go toolkit, not gonna lie. And the rare collectible card, modifying level reaches Omega grade instantly after a mod triggers dodge effects. I don't really have a problem hitting Omega, so I think I'm gonna go for the toolkit. And our last but not least, the old pocket watch on the far side. When a mod hits an enemy, the remaining cooldown of a random skill on cooldown for this mod is shortened by one second. Eh. Wishing Bottle then is mod's crit rate in zero times increased by 100%. If they have won 10 victories with the item equipped, so that's the long haul. Big Entrance then grants one trace when a hit is landed on the enemy with a fourth strike of a normal attack. Oh, let's go Big Entrance. We have a, a full HP restore and now we are on Thunder Roar. So Thunder Roar is a boss. I... Oh wait, this is really easy. It looks like there's about 10 encounter stages in each chunk of the event. So if you do... All four bosses, you'll have done 40 events. Just about, it looks like. This looks a little bit longer, so you might actually hit it prior. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so, yeah, because this is also 11. Okay, I see it, because we've done 10. Okay, so give or take, give or take. I am going to cheese it, though, and if we hit any elite battles, unless it's like a really, like, the shop is there, like with this one... I don't know which way we're going to go yet. I haven't really planned it out that far because we might go the opportunity instead of the elite battle because that was a lot. <laughs> unsure, unsure. We'll figure it out as we go. For now, though, I want the sigil reward, but we have to do the treasure battle first. I always forget that. And we still only have Thor, which, you know what, is manageable. It's totally doable. We've done it before. I can just tell this uh, video is going to be quite long because I do plan on doing it all in one video. I'm not abandoning a run. We are going to clear it. I don't know if we're gonna do it on hard mode though. That might be a let me do that on my own time sort of thing. This one is a little bit harder. I can see the difficulty getting up there. I did get, I, I got hit once. This one's rough. Oh, give me that ult. I need that ult actually. <laughs> oh my God, I, this is, my brain is like on overdrive. <laughs> oh my God. There's too much. There's too much going on. Also, I keep evading like the wrong direction. Finally, we did go under 10K for health, which I don't like has a 50% chance of maintaining, obtaining an extra sun. I don't know. I can't read. There we go. Oh my God. That was stressful for like no good reason. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, moving on. We are definitely sticking to normal. Outdoors first aid kit restores 10% of mods max HP when they enter modified mode. I think I might grab that. Melee mods take 15% less damage. Handheld lantern could be good, but it's toy pyro flag that's on the far side. When a mod hits an enemy with a normal attack, the skill damage of this mod is increased. Uh, we're gonna go outdoor first aid kit because I was already feeling the heat a little bit, so we're gonna go for the health. It's also making me think, do we wanna go super weenie mode and go for opportunity stages and as opposed, oh, I want the sigils though. And just looking at this up here, it could be good to be up here rather than down here. Cause I don't think there's any other way after this if we go down to go back up it looks like. So I think we're going to go for sigil reward. I know I just bought new sigils, but you know, I, I was struggling a little bit in that battle with Alheim and Zero One. So maybe we want to do better. Maybe we can get better sigils because I was even, I was questioning the sigils we did grab. So let's go for this. So far, so good though. We're really, again, we're not doing too bad here. Did I take another hit? I might have, but it's fine. I got a health buff thing, so we should be pretty good. I stand corrected though on the, I need hard mode. No, the first run through was just a little bit. It was, it was easy mode. It's fine. I'm trying to make it harder and I, I regretted it a little bit. Let me use that ult because I'm stuck in the, near the wall here. Why am I, get me over here. Who's still alive? Oh, you're, you are over here. I'm like, what is, who, what? I don't, there's one more security drone. Oh, there they are. Hi, where, where were you before? Where were you five seconds ago? <laughs> All right, not bad. Where were you five seconds ago? <laughs> oh my God. All right, so Sword of Roland, we decided on a no. Mermaid's Tear, we decided on as a no. What's Dark Plague? Increases shadow damage by 10%. Guess what? Thor doesn't do shadow damage. We have hit modified mode a couple times. 
I think I'm just gonna abandon it. None of those were really good, but I think we're in a good spot. So let's get this opportunity here. Apollo wants to open a stall at the upcoming food festival to earn some extra cash and asks for your opinion. Um, we can make a decision for him or join in the discussion. I'd say we join in the discussion. Apollo's a little dumb sometimes, but I think he's smart enough to make his own decisions. I believe in him. Let's join in the discussion. Apollo feels that your ideas have been really constructive and decides to give you a small share of the profits. See, we have to trust him. He's giving us money. The amount of components obtained after every battle increases now because we helped him. Look at that. I'm not going for this elite battle. Forget it because they both gather here with this normal battle. I'm going for the normal battle. I, I don't want to do another elite one. However, the weenie strat did work very well, but we I don't know what the next enemy would be there and i i don't want to i don't want to risk it i don't i'm gonna be honest i don't all right let's have at it all right we're in it and my health is all the way back up so i think i picked a good assortment of things maybe oh i did take a hit there this way yes Thor's doing a, the weird evasion thing again where she's not evading in the direction i really need her to be evading in i think we fixed it though it just has to do with like the auto locking mechanic sometimes she evades the, the wrong direction and because we're top down it's harder to tell like what direction <laughs> at least for me it's harder to tell in top down what direction thor is actually facing <laughs> got an achievement there though so that's fun i think our loot did go off a little bit there dumbbells is the higher level it's like the four star one or whatever for each normal enemy the mod defeats this mod's damage to elite enemies is increased by three percent it's a stacking effect it doesn't say how much it stacks so realistically Realistically, that could just keep stacking, I think. <laughs> I know what soft drink is, and I don't think I want to grab it, but what is Rusty Broken Sword? At the start of the battle, the attack of mods. Soft drink is the one on the far side, that's what I'm covering, but... Rusty Broken Sword attack is increased by 15% for 15 seconds. I want to go for dumbbells. I don't think Rusty Broken Sword is all that good, but now we have the Ether Code reward, which we did not grab last time. So we did end up getting our Ether Codes eventually. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Everyone is hitboxing <laughs> what is going on is there two waves i think there's two waves yep there's two waves there usually is oh you guys are new everything's chrome now oh we got that ult we got that ult hey kid nice not bad i think we've i think we've got our footing again i think we're doing better so what do we want here hmm overflow reduces the thunder resistance of surrounding enemies this looks like i'm just seeing the little dots each one has this one is two this overflow here Reduces thunder resistance to surrounding enemies when the mod enters thunder frenzy state. I think that's ult. Let's just go for this overflow. Why not? So we only have the coin reward option. We can't, it's not like a double branch here. So we'll go for the coin reward. Easy peasy. And then we have to start making decisions again, but I want it to be up top here. So I think we're in a good spot for sure. The opponents have upgraded though, I think. We're, they're like silver now. So I do think that's like an upgraded state, which is, it makes sense because we did, we have, we are farther now. Okay, next wave. Took one hit, unfortunately, but it's not, we're still above 10K. So like the after battle health buff will probably get us back to 11K. All right, take that ult, take it home, Thor. Didn't really even need the ult, but I don't get, that doesn't roll over, so might as well use it. We're doing good. I, I just love that. I love these sort of things, so I'm just like vibing with it. I do think, oh, if we hit the opportunity here, we will go down and miss. Well, there is a dimensional shop here, but I am almost thinking I want to hit up the shop. Either way, we're going to have an elite battle. Oh, no, wait. This is an elite battle. I didn't process that. This is a normal battle. So either way, we're going to have a battle in the dimensional shop. Or will we? Oh no, we can go around, it looks like. So we can do the opportunity down this way and then hit the dimensional shop and then go to the boss battle. I think I want to do that. Because we could also do normal battle, opportunity, normal battle. But I want to hit a shop eventually. And now that I'm looking at it, that's the only way to hit a shop. We can't go... Oh wait, no, where are we? Okay, no, we're, we're here. Wow. My brain is so broken. So either way, we'll have an opportunity and a battle. It just depends on how we want to go about it. So right now we're here. If we go down to the opportunity, we have an opportunity, then the shop, then a normal battle. But if we go up, we have normal battle, opportunity, and then a dimensional shop. And I think, I don't know. I think normal battle, opportunity, shop might be the best way to do that. Because then we're perfectly ready for the boss battle. And I don't have to do this elite battle here. I don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to go up maybe i think that might be the best way to do it do the normal battle next i think we'll do that it's too late now i picked the normal battle <laughs> it's too late now i am gonna avoid that elite battle though because i do want to hit 
a shop, and I don't know if I could hit a shop if I pick that one. I hope I, like, plan that out right, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why is there so many... Why is there so many AOE things on the ground? I'm, I'm literally thinking about doing the cheaty weenie strat again. I'm thinking about it. Oh, thank God. I needed that. I really wish we could hit a modified because I need to get some heals in that way, but it's not hitting. Maybe once we hit that ult. Okay, let me hit the ult because I definitely need that like resistance from getting hit. There we go. Not that bad. Not that bad. We should be okay going into the boss battle and we don't have to do any more fighting until the boss battle. So we should be okay. We should definitely be okay. That was a little bit uh, tricky though. What do we have here? Vinyl record extends the duration of modified mode. Could be good. We have the unnamed holy sword. Increases crit damage by 40% in modified mode. Doubled when unnamed scabbard? What do I have? No. The one I'm covering is eco-friendly carting. Carton? Casting an ultimate skill in modified mode will increase the... Okay, that's very specific. I think maybe just go for vinyl record. I'm gonna go for vinyl record. So next we're gonna do the opportunity here. So a man claiming to be a Morphe's stops you on the beach along the west coast he says that he came to einsoft to hold a concert but was cheated out of all his money <laughs> yeesh he asks for some money or to play you a song you see that he doesn't seem to be in his right mind i mean we can listen to a tune right what's stopping us from listening to his little song i'll listen to your song oh i have to fight him now after he finishes playing his tune the man holds his hand out asking for payment for his performance i i'd give him a couple coins there, there's nothing wrong with that so you refuse somebody blocks your path what's i lied um we do get two treasures though from this battle so if i have to just run around i will it shouldn't be a difficult one right <laughs> shouldn't be oh it's difficult i haven't fought this boss just so we're all on the same page oh my god what the in the what you're insane who is this guy i just he thought I was being nice and now I'm being killed. Why couldn't we give him money? If I could go back in time and give him money, I would. I'm about to just die here. If I die here, right, would that be the preferable option? Can I go back and give him money? Because I would do it. I needed this modified mode, actually. Um, I needed it. I wish I could do more damage, though, because um, at this point, I might actually take him out. Um, the music here kind of goes hard, though. Did I avoid it that time? The thing is, though, even if we don't get all of our health back, we'll get it back going into the boss battle, I think. Like, if we die in the boss battle, we'll get our health back that way. So, like, I'm just gonna stand over here. I can't move. I, I don't think I could move there. Can I have a modified mode? Thank you. This will actually take it out. I, uh, the problem is I have 4k health right now. So that shop better have something. We get treasures, so I need health. Like, now. I need health. 7k is what I'm left with. Restores mods combat resources to the maximum when they enter modified. Increases mods ultimate skill charge speed by 100% for the first... Mm, I think high power binoculars. I'll go with that. Are any of these HP? No! The one I'm on the far side is Black Knight chest piece. After exiting modified mode, restores mods combat resources to the maximum. Ooh. Oh, wait. I want Black Knight chest piece. All right. I really hope there's an HP thing in this shop. Restores 100 HP when a mod is attacked. <gasps> Medical spray, it's only 500. I'm grabbing it. Or er, wait, okay. Think you got this re realistically. I can get Celebrian. Equipping by Rory. Oh, that that's 800. But then that wouldn't allow me. It would allow me to get ener emergency rations. Restores 10% of mods max HP at the start of battle. Medical spray. Ooh, I mean, I think I'm gonna go for it. Uh, ooh, is this, is this, uh, ooh, is this, ah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're doing okay, but and this Celebrian has come up before. We're, I think I might have to go for medical spray just because we're really struggling because of that that dude. I don't know though. I'm like, ah, I don't really know what to go with. If I can trigger once every seven, because do we want to play it safe or do we want to? Because I've seen Celebrian come up before. I think I'm going to go for the medical spray just because we are struggling. And then I'll grab Crater just because we have the money for it. And we have 353 left, so I can either increase defense or get this emergency rations, which I'm going to do as well. I think that was the best way to spend all our money for now, and I'm not really mad about it. But now we have the boss battle, which realistically, the boss battle wasn't that bad. And we will get like an HP restore after. So if we can get through the boss battle, I'm just hoping it honestly, money even if it was, even if it was... All Heim and Zero One. Oh, oh it's. Like I was just. Uh, I was like, as long as it's not All Heim and Zero One. All right, yeah, I'm doing the. I'm doing the weenie strat. I'm doing the weenie strat. I don't care. I do not care. 
I'm not even starting with you. This isn't that bad. I don't even know where you are on the field. I'm not, I'm not even starting with it. I'm not in the mood for it either. He's like, I'm not in the mood for this. Neither am I. Can I have my ult? We're just both just kind of walking around. He's gotten hit by me just like dodging and stuff though. And my lightning. All right, ult time. Ult time, ult time. Times three, Ethan. Ethan on times three is like unheard of. And we got a modified. I, I was trying to hit that. I was. This isn't that bad. I was like, I remember the Ethan fight being a little bit worse, but I think I think I picked the right buffs there. I think I did good. I think I did good. So now we're gonna do our weenie strat again. He's saying he's bored, and I'm like, Dusty, you're gonna have to wait. I'm doing the weenie strat, and it works. The weenie strat works. So close to having that ult again. There we go. Perfect. I don't know if this is gonna take him out, but we can try to get modified. I did take a hit there, which is unfortunate. Oh, oh, I took multiple hits. Oh, does he have a phase two? Really he has phase two. Me. Yep, he has Time phase two. To mm, I forgot he has phase two. two. Well, Can't now we're really doing the weenie strat. Now we're really weenie and weenie, weenieing it up, which I'm fine with this. We have seven minutes left. We have over seven minutes left. That was a little bit too close for comfort. Ult is almost back up. Almost is almost now back. All... There we go. Work smarter, not harder. There we go. We're gonna hit that modified. Uh, we're not we're not okay, hitting the modified okay that's fine real. that's fine if we don't hit modified no 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 that was bad that was that was almost really bad it's fine we're gonna be fine i really am using this like aoe lightning to my advantage can we hit a modified now no no modified okay this is fine we have an ult this is fine this is fine i really need to hit a modified this one though which is unfortunate that i didn't before yeah no it's unfortunate that's unfortunate what do i there we go thank god uh, oh my god i needed that Okay, this will break. Okay, we're down to his final health bar. Thank God. Oh my God, I needed that so bad. All right, now we go back weenie mode. Ult is almost back up. This is fine. Listen, when you only have one character, you gotta make do. This could take it. I'm trying with it, but that did it. That did it. I don't know when that did it and I got hit at the same time, but I'll take it. Hopefully we get a full health restore. We, it took an hour to do that. Did you just insult me, Apollo? He says, impossible. Thor said, you said that I didn't care for logic. And he says, don't take my words out of context. I made the comment based on your usual approach. Thor says, so you don't think I'm a logical person. There's no need for planning. And Zanki says, what a cool line. Sounds just like with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> and Zanki says that was a line from the film just now. So uh, I think it's a play on Batman. <laughs> okay, understandable. Brian Man is also a thing, all right. Okay, fine. What do we want? We've seen all these before. I was gonna go for the holy sword a while ago, so we'll grab that. Toy pirate flag, was that one I wanted? I don't think so. What is scanning device? When a mod's HP is less than 60%, this mod's attack is increased by 30%. When a mod's HP is less than 30%, this mod's attack is increased by 60%. I actually think I'm gonna go for that. Great big horn is over here um, on the, the far side, but I'm gonna go for scanning device. And now the far side is directional loudspeaker. Trace mods gain one extra trace. Nunchaku, when a mod casts a skill or ultimate skill, the mod gains super armor. I might grab that. I want the super armor. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the nunchucks. And we get a full HP restore, thank God. So we have done 20 events. We cleared Thunder Roar. This is gonna be a really long video because I really don't want to split it because we're kind of on a roll. Although realistically, we could split here and just do it. It might be smart to split it. Actually, it might be smart to split it because we're about halfway done. So far, so good, though. I would like to up this crit rate now that I'm looking at her stats. I would like to up that crit rate. Also, our crit damage is zero percent. What in the? We need to work on that. <laughs> we definitely. Realistically, though, she's doing pretty good damage for where she's at. Not going to lie. I don't even know how to start going about this one, because also I've, this is all I've been doing for the last hour. I kind of want to take like a, a quick break. We could look at custom banner, though. I do want to take a look there. Cause I'm debating if I want to pull and try to get Thor. I know I changed to Osor earlier. I don't think Thor is here, no. Which makes sense because Thor just ran, but it's fine. All right, I'm taking a quick break. We'll go back to Thunder Parade. I might do Reflection Reverse, like switch it up and just do one Reflection Reverse like in between because I my, I need a, a, a short break. That was a lot. <laughs> like the Thunder Parade is a lot. It's really fun, but it's also like very stressful. I just also want to look at the rewards here because the hard mode rewards, don't really give a ton of stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can do it on hard, but you only get rewards for doing the boss stages in hard mode, which honestly, I think the boss stages aren't that bad. I think you could totally do those in hard mode. Oh, you do get rewards for doing 
the events in hard mode, but honestly, the hard mode rewards, like, you could farm this stuff, no problem. It's just the normal stages give shifted stars. So I don't think we're going to do hard mode just because I don't know how much time we'll have. But if there's extra time after I've finished everything, then maybe. But today we're done. We got we got halfway through Thunder Parade. It's very fun. But like in true roguelite fashion, sometimes these runs take really long. And so sometimes they're short, but other times you get some really long runs. And this is though this is because this is the whole event. It's, it's, it's kind of long, quite frankly. <laughs> so we'll get back to that. Not in the next Aether Gazer video, because I do want to look at Reflection Reverse, just because my hand needs a break. Is this combat, though? What is it? We're going to take a look at Reflection Reverse, because I need something else just to, like, switch it up a little bit. So we're going to take a look at that in the next Aether Gazer video, and then we'll go back to Thunder Parade and finish it off. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below, as well as subscribe for more, and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys! Bye.